It's amazing. Uh, I think I'm very blessed. You know, that I'm Finished business, you know, playing with Bar and AD. And now was Pat Bab is here, and all those young guys. Um, I'm ready uh, to work, and I'm excited. Yeah. How special is that connection you have with Darvin Ham? How much did that weigh into you coming? Uh, that was the main reason, to be honest. Um, you know, I've been with him in 2013 when I got drafted in Atlanta, and uh, he's been nothing but great to me. And, uh, learning from him, you know, over the years. Staying in touch, he had camps in Germany where I came came through to support him. So uh, I call him family, and he knows that. So um, you know, whatever it takes uh, to win a ball game, I do it. Hey Dennis, look, moving back a little bit, there were reports last time you were here that like, the Lakers offered a contract during the season, chose to decline, and of course now you're back here later at a different contract. Can you just would you like to take us through how that went and kind of how it played out to having you be here now? I mean, uh, end of the day, I never, never was a contract. You know, me and Rob, uh, we had a good relationship. Um, he helped me and my family out every single time when I asked him to. Um, never was a contract. Never rejected anything. Um, I don't know who brought it up, but that's the media, you know. Uh, but um, end of the day, no contract. Um, and I'm just happy to be here. Uh, like you said, unfinished business, and uh, we just got to take care of this stuff. Um, and uh, win a chip. That's, I think, the goal. And um, other than that, with the ground play, uh, that's not true. But I think you guys can ask Rob and see uh, what he has to say about that. You were here previously. You were a starter. Do we know what your role is going to be this time around? I don't know. But uh, I'm going to make sure everything I, I can do, I bring to the, to the team to win ball games. So, I mean, Coach Darvin knows. He knows me for 10 years now. He knows what I bring. And, Whatever it is, you know, um, I'm going to do whatever uh, to get a W and um, to uh, finish the unfinished business. Mm -hmm. The last Lakers team you were on obviously was a good strong group because we were coming off the championship, but there's no fans in the stands for the majority of the season. You never did this, not that you, know, yeah. you missed this, but you never <laughs> picked up here on the room the whole time. Uh, how much of that Laker experience did it ever feel like what you would anticipate being a Laker would feel like? It didn't feel uh, anything like it, you know, because there was no fans, like you mentioned, you know, the media and all that was it was not there. So, uh, through difficult times with COVID, um, but now being here, there was another main reason uh, why I came. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm excited to play in front of our fans, uh, to compete, you know, and uh, to do everything in, in my power to uh, win ball games. Just one more on the, on the contract, whether it was offered or not. Uh, you were in line at the, at the place you were in your career to perhaps sign a, a longer term deal, perhaps um, a more lucrative deal. You're here on a veteran minimums extension, or veteran minimums contract, excuse me. Um, where do you feel like your career is at in terms of trying to get security in this league? I mean, uh, I played uh, for my ninth year, my tenth year now. Uh, my third year, I signed a big uh, contract. Um, of course, the whole situation uh, with the Lakers, um, that was a little weird. That's the reason why I said I even paid for free here, you know, um, just to make it right and just to uh, put everybody in the, in the right direction. And um, it don't matter. For me, you know, my family is good, uh, my kids is good, and uh, they're going to be good. So at the end of the day, I do this. Uh, that's, that's my passion. And um, of course, uh, it would be great, you know, to sign a big deal and a longer term deal. And uh, that's my goal still. Um, but end of the day, we're here now, and uh, I'm gonna do everything I can right now to uh, 
just help my teammates uh, win ball games. Uh, Dennis, we talk about you defensively. AD called you missing 94 feet. Um, how different is this group defensively, you know, with all the on-ball defenders that they have, you know, and then especially with you, what you bring, how do you like this group defensively? UK, none, you know, Pat Bev and others can defend, yeah. I mean, it's a special group, you know, um, to play first off with probably like three, four Hall of Famers uh, in one team. Um, that's pretty special. Uh, Russell Westbrook, I mentioned him before, AD, Ron. Um, but everything else, everybody else, um, just gotta, you know, day part, gotta do day part to, to impact the game. And uh, for me, defensively, uh, I'm gonna try to be defensive minded. Of course, you know, try to involve my teammates and be aggressive, uh, like I, I mean, what I did before uh, for the last nine years. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, to compete with uh, Pat Bath. You know, I've played against him a couple of times, but uh, seen today already, he's a little, you know, uh, different. And uh, I mean, um, I like it though. We are competitors and uh, we try to get after it. Dennis, uh, coach just mentioned that he was very happy about the strong performance you had at the Eurobasket. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, especially about your leadership you, you, you displayed. Um, do you think there's anything that you have learned through the experience over summer that you could bring into this team and, and the league in the season? Yeah, of course. I mean, leadership is one of those things. Uh, even when I was here, you know, um, the chemistry wasn't because of COVID and all these things. We couldn't even go to the restaurant with the team and there were so many restrictions, so we couldn't even do anything. So, I mean, um, all the veterans, myself, uh, we got to just do a great job having the team around, you know, um, do a lot of activities together just to build the team chemistry. Everybody talking about team chemistry, but you guys do a lot for it. So that's what we did in Germany. And uh, of course, I try to bring that here to um, be like a little family and we go to war together when we play.